Yo, what's up guys? Today's video is going to be all about barbershops and salons. How to basically just take over your area and get more traffic into the door than you can probably handle. This will be a good thing for you because if you've already watched the value ladder video, then you would understand, you know, what your customer value would be over time. All right, so let's just jump into it. Basically, I know a lot of people are like, you know, I... I I dislike Facebook and, you know, I, I don't want to waste my time being on it all day and, you know, all this other stuff about it. And, you know, I just wanted to show you there's a flip side, you know, you being on the other spectrum of that, you know, scale. Basically, you're going to be the one presenting the ads instead of being advertised to. So using Facebook that way will obviously put you in advantage if you have a business for yourself or if you're trying to start one and you really have no flow of customers or maybe you just want more customers. Uh, you just got to find a way to position yourself and, you know, put yourself in front of the people that want your services. You can do that using Facebook ads. And I know a lot of people, you know, have a page and they're like, you know, I post on my page every day. You know, I do this, this and that and the third. But, you know, Facebook Facebook now has this algorithm, uh, which is like, say if you were to post, you know, to 10,000 people, only 2%, you know, would see that, you know, ad. So maybe 200 people would see the ad. But if we put it down to a smaller scale, where like, you know, maybe let's say you had a thousand fans on your page, um, Facebook will only allow that you know, post to be seen by a maximum 20 people, you know, if that, I mean, posting organically is good. And, you know, you don't want to stop once you start gaining momentum because, you know, at some point when you do gain, like, you know, these passionate fans for whatever you're showing them, they're going to start interacting with every single image that you put up and they're basically going to, you know, grow some type of bond with your page. And then down the line, this will lead to more business and more floor customers. So inside here, let's say we were running an ad for a barbershop, we would come down to here and let's say we're in the US. Uh, it's pretty broad. You can see it's reaching about 105 million people. So we want to shrink that audience down to, you know, basically the people that we want, you know, and, and basically are around us. So let's just say we're in Los Angeles. And we want to target about a 10 mile radius. So if you notice, this really drops to about 2.2 million people, which is, you know, pretty targeted. If you notice before, this was, you know, swaying more towards broad. So it wasn't as targeted as it is right now. So, you know, the more you know about your area, obviously, the more targeted you can get and, you know, find people to, you know, come into your business through Facebook ads. So let's just say you left the age range uh, pretty much the same just to start off with. But if you wanted, you could target anywhere from, let's say, like 25 to, let's say, 54. You'll notice our potential reach drops down to about 1.5 million people. So we're getting, you know, more targeted as we start to build this out. And that's what you want to keep doing. You want to keep you know, narrowing it down and really shrink the audience to find that person that's more likely to take action on this ad and come into your shop. The next thing you want to do is come right down to detail targeting and basically, you know, find people who are pretty much, you know, have some sort of interest with, you know, what message we're trying to convey. So right now, let's say we hypothetically speaking, I'm a barbershop and I'm trying to get more people into my shop. So, so let's just say we wanted to, you know, target someone who maybe had an upcoming, you know, birthday or something like that. And, you know, they wanted to, you know, get a haircut or something like that. And, you know, pretty much that's that's what I would be doing. If I was going to the barbershop, I'd probably go to the barbershop to get a, a haircut for my birthday. So, you know, so I could look all right when I go out. Or, you know, if I was going somewhere, you know, for some kind of event or, you know, some kind of sponsorship party or, you know, maybe just going to dinner somewhere. So basically, you know, you want to associate these interests that might tag along those kind of people. So let's just say type in upcoming birthday. So we have about 32,000 people basically with a birthday coming up in Los Angeles that you could target. And, you know, it might be tomorrow, might be, you know, before the end of the month is up. It might even be, you know, a month from now. Uh, basically, you just want to keep that in mind. And, you know, if you do a good job, these people will probably bring their friends and family members, cousins, you know, Next thing you might want to look for is probably go into the detailed targeting, which would have to do with something that people are interested in. So let's just say we were to target haircut and you don't want to target, you know, job titles because these are people that work as, you know, hairstylists and, you know, these are people that actually cut hair. And if they're at a barbershop, then nine times out of 10, they're cutting their own hair or, you know, they have, you know, a colleague cutting it for them. So you don't want to target a job title. Uh, 
you don't want to target employer. Maybe you want to target, you know, the interest itself. So we target like, here's a pretty popular one, shape up. Everybody needs to shape up. You know, if they want to have a crisp hairline or whatever the case may be, we could do something like beard. Let's actually raise this up to 25 miles. Men with beards, let's see, facial hair, men's style and grooming, put it in beard. So we're at about 30,000 people. Uh, what else can we do? Just throw in a mustache. So we're pretty much targeting people that have, you know, a lot of facial hair and, you know, maybe they, you know, groom this by themselves or go to a shop every week, you know, to get their hair cut or whatever the case may be. So you basically want to just get this in front of them. So we'll go to shaving. Even put in razor. What else? Personal grooming. Throw in barber. Barber would probably be a good one. You know, being that people might be interested in a page that has to do with a barber or a certain kind of barber. Um, could be associated with it, so that's a good interest to target. Uh, what else? You can go to hairstyle. If you do hair coloring at your job, this would be a good one to put in there. And, you know, reason being is because maybe people might want their hair dyed or, you know, whatever the newest fad is or whatever the case may be. Uh, Dollar Shave is a pretty popular one. And you can probably target the people that order from Dollar Shave Club. What else? Let's see. And maybe even want to target beauty salons, you know, because not only do men come in to get their haircuts, but women also come in to get their haircuts as well. So they might be trying to, you know, shave one side of their head keep the rest, you know, as it originally is, or, you know, do some kind of funky hairstyle that, you know, you could probably pull off if you know how to do it. So it'll probably help you out if you did target beauty salons in the long run. So we could even target, you know, barbershop film, because I'm gonna tell you why. A lot of people, maybe the night they went to the movie, they went and got a haircut to see the latest barbershop film, or, you know, they like the characters in the movie. And, you know, I would imagine if you were to choose uh, Barbershop the film, it would probably be a good interest because in my mind, I'm thinking people are going to see Barbershop because one, they're either a barber or, you know, two, it's, you know, just funny. It's a good movie to go see for entertainment. But, you know, for the main part, people know that it's going to be a community of what goes on inside the barbershop. And that's kind of what makes the whole experience of when you go into the barbershop, <laughs> you know, just cutting up in the shop, having a good time, talking sports talking women, talking, you know, whatever the case may be, relationships, you know, you guys, I'm pretty sure if you've been to a barbershop, then you know that pretty much anything goes and there's a range of topics that could fly back and forth across the shop, even when it comes to politics, right? So this would probably be a good interest to target. And, you know, you might run into a few people that would actually come into your shop based off of a movie that they like. All right, so that's one of them. And so we have about 450,000 people. That's like more than enough. So you probably want to uh, just keep testing the uh, numbers out and keep testing interests and basically build up an audience to where, you know, you'll be able to uh, funnel people from Facebook right into your business. So that's one thing you need to know how to do is basically just find your interests. And then another thing you would have to do is basically have a funnel or a great website setup. So basically, I, I would rather use a funnel because you can get them up and down quick. And you know, it takes like little to no effort to build one, especially with the right app. I'm going to leave a link below this video or somewhere around this video so you can see which kind of funnel I would recommend. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you were to do this on any other platform, you know, you won't be able to really target down and niche down your, you know, efforts in your marketing like this, because there's no other platform that will actually let you go to the city, choose the miles and the radius you want to target within the city, the age range and choose men or women. You can even, you know, break it down and, you know, just choose the language that you want to target. And let's say you want to narrow the audience down a little bit and you want to target only people that make about thirty to 40000 a year, or let's say people who have a household income of 40000 to 49000 or maybe even 50000 to 75000 And as you can see, it dropped down from 450,000 people to about 140,000 people. So that's, you know, a lot better than, you know, targeting so many people at once. And maybe, you know, you'd be able to target people who can actually afford to get a haircut every single week or, you know, every month or whatever the case may be. Because I know I really couldn't afford them <laughs> when I was growing up. My mom and my dad bought me a pair of clippers and said, here, you know, figure it out. <laughs> so I started making money and I was able to, you know, get haircuts on my own. So it didn't affect my social life at all. But, you know, it's still a pain to like 
mess up on my head a few times and figure it out. I know a lot of people need the haircuts in the world, but not everybody can afford to get a haircut every week. So, you know, you kind of can't hold that against them. So altogether, you want to put this ad in front of the people who can afford your services. So you don't want to waste money and target, you know, people who are broke or anything like that, because you won't be putting your money in the best places to make a return on it. So yeah, that kind of wraps it up for this uh, barbershop and beauty salon quick overview, because I just wanted to show you how you can basically take over your area. This basically wraps it up for the barbershop and or barber spectrum of the Facebook ads. Subscribe to my channel if you're watching this video on YouTube. I'm probably going to release some more videos and different angles you could take on, you know, doing this. If you do like the content I provide and you want, you know, to go more into detail, then read the description below. There'll be more info on how you can get started working with me. I'll definitely help you get the grasp of this. As long as you're committed to learning yourself, I can't do all the work for you. It's not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to, you know, provide insight on something that can help you out. I do have a profile on Patreon. So if you want to become a patron, you can find out more about that under this video it's on whatever the project is that you have. Because I've been doing this for a while and doing it for a number of different companies, believe it or not. And Facebook is definitely a good place to put your business because there's so many people lot logging into it daily, no matter, you know, how many people hate it, you know, this or that, or whatever the case is, like, you definitely want to <laughs> use Facebook for this reason, if you're using it at all. And you'll basically be able to see how you can work with me and different things like that. Or if you just want to learn more, or if, you know, you just need some guidance, you know, just to be on the right track, you can find all that in the description below. And I hope you guys learn from this. If you learned something from this video and it helps you out, just please give it a thumbs up. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.